a part of what we want to do as well is how do we remain these lighthouses? How do we stay, become like, take responsibility as role models in society and culture? How do we become stronger anchors? How do we um, become more effective cycle breakers? How do we honor the gifts that we have, the, some of us being like visionaries, seeing the next steps. Some of us, how do we maintain and remain in our ability to illuminate, light up the darkness, to show the shadows? Um, so in a way, I, I kind of feel like it isn't really a choice, <laughs> being a practitioner and a healer. There is a part of it is you can't, you know that this is your path and why you're here. And what's going on though, is that you try and put it out there. You know it's what you wanna do and who you're meant to be. And you try and put it out there and there are all sorts of blockages that show up. And the dangers that we have as practitioners is that we burn out. And I reckon that, I, I, don't, I don't feel like I burn out. And I reckon that, well, the way I teach, uh, practitioners and in all of the courses is understanding boundaries, understanding your core wounding, understanding um, where how to, to not absorb people's energy, how to not take your client's stuff home. If, you, if you're doing that, then there's something off and there's a lot of tools and right alignment that can be had so that you're not doing that. You're not exhausted. You're not burnt out. You're not absorbing people's energy. And a lot of it is understanding the the kind of the laws of the universe around what it is to heal. And we're not going to get into that so much today, but just know that something's off when that's happening. Um, it's also really understanding that when you see the dangers that practitioners have is that if you're seeking validation because you weren't given any as a child, for example, you're seeking uh, validation from your community, from your clients, uh, in your relationships, then your power is shrinking and weakening and your um, it becomes very sticky, codependent relationships. And with clients, that's just also off. So there's all sorts of stuff we have to look at as being practitioners. So, and also there's so many people that aren't making the income they need to survive. So then they end up doing, taking on other jobs and then you're letting go of, you having to, um, pass up your love and knowing for the path that you're meant to be on to supplement. So there's something around wealth that we blocked on. There's something about visibility that we're blocked on. And there's something around right alignment and professionalism that is blocked as well. So I think we have to come out of the new age platitudes and bypassing and very harmful content and into, you know, we're a, a legitimate profession. <laughs> Okay, and what I feel like we need going forward is resilience, boundaries, ethics. We need much stronger visibility. We need, and, and the, you know, land, a visibility where your frequency is really felt and heard and it lands with the right people. You need strategy that holds you and supports you in moving forward in your business. We need to expand our capacity to hold more and more energy which is more people, more impact, more transformation, more income, more, um, yeah, more being able to hold more of everything, more decision-making, more uh, ability to take more action. We do, So expanding our capacity to hold more on all levels is super important. We need to step up into leadership, like self-leadership, we need to take control control, or refine or take on an understanding of what it means to lead ourselves and lead others. And I think that's really important to understand that you are leaders and to step into that identity. So we need, you know, clear communication, uh, the ability to translate this powerful, magical healing work that we do into human everyday language so that it reaches more and more people, not just talk in those echo chambers that I've mentioned. 
We need to reclaim our flow of expression and creativity and entrepreneurialism so that we can reach more people. So that means restructuring the inner landscape, the energetic architecture of who we are, so that this work is easier and easier to deliver.